Okay, my outstanding friends, fabulous news today. This is going to be exciting. If you got kids or anybody that thinks they want to be a physicist or likes physics or any of this kind of science stuff, get them now and watch this video because this is going to blow you away. I have been commenting on, not attacking, but commenting on Einstein's theories and gravity and relativity and special relativity and all that stuff. And and it's just not right. I mean, it's just it, there's just no way it's right. It's the speed of light varies all over the place, and it, everything that they're saying now totally dis goes against Einstein, but they're trying to prop him up somehow. And, oh, well, they, he just didn't understand that way back in the time it was this way and now it's this way. And they're, they're tweaking in, but they realize they're wrong. And um, I, I, I know they must realize that this theory is uh, covers all the bases. It's my dipole electron flood theory. I've had it since 1970. It makes the protons not one big proton like this, it makes a proton a ball of particles like this. And each one of these particles is a bar magnet. And when you put them all together, they form a proton, but all the dark matter goes right into the center. You never see the dark matter, that's why they've never seen it. If they opened it up and they could see inside, but they can't. The only way they can open these up is to smash them to bits, and all they see is just debris. So they don't even know where the dark, dark matter is. They've seen it. They don't realize it because it's just nothing but trash. We used light, not protons, not protons. We used this much. <laughs> we could see them develop, and we could see them split, and you will see this now. They realize they're wrong, but physics is completely wrong, so w w what are they going to do? They're fighting back now, but they're not going to win because they're wrong. Let me prove to you that I can prove this. And not only is this, this is not speculation, this is proof. I'm going to show you the experiments that prove and show that they do not know what they are doing in physics. And these are the people, well, I'm going to go to the article that talks about it. And they're going to make their explanation of why th there's just something not exactly right here. There's this three sigma problem, and it has to go to a five sigma before it's absolutely wrong. But it's pretty wrong now, but, you know, we're going to just sort of work around it. No, it's wrong. <laughs> That's all. Okay, academia the way it is, they won't allow me to post anywhere, anywhere in academia. So I put it up here on this academia.edu. This is an independent place where academics can post things and they, they won't let you post. So I got like 45 papers up there because nobody will let me post anywhere. So I'm coming up here to look at this. You see all this about my stuff? And this pops up, ancient lava tubes, lava tubes they're calling these, reveal hidden clues to life beyond Earth. Well, everybody that's from Mud Boston University understands what lava tubes are, and we will certainly discuss these. But let's go through this, and this, this one's from 623, dipole electron flood replaces the standard model, da 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 Dirac neutrinos. We're going to go through Cherenkov radiation on a minute and so forth. But all this stuff goes back. Now, this is dark matter explained in a universe of dipole electrons. I can't remember when this paper was put up, but I did one that was called Dark Matter is Light <laughs> on its way. Uh, I forget what I called it. Dark Matter is Light something like that. Let's see, let me look at this here. All right, so I pop up here to look at dark matter explained in a universe of dipoles, and somebody's reading my Jesus chemistry paper. I got like 45 papers up on here. So, um, the problem is they, they won't let me post in any journal, so nobody ever sees my stuff. You know, well, I, I actually got about I got a pretty good following up there, but not like uh, not like it should be. All right, this goes back to 2016. I'm saying light is dark energy and gravity, and it's 
it's well here's what i say i say light leaves the sun as energy light is energy it's coming towards us as energy it arrives at the earth as energy boom it's dark energy while it's in transit it's dark energy you can't see it because it's not hitting anything that's all it's as simple as that it's moving through space here and whatever's in front of it it, it hits now if there's not many particles in front of it it's not going to hit anything maybe if it hits something it's going to slow it down but it's not going to stop it it's going to push through that field and that's why the light sh literally slows down as it comes to us and we get all these different spectrum of light hitting us because some of it slows down some of it's not admitted emitted from the sun at the same velocity really light has no no speed limit and i, I even say this in here i say sorry einstein and all the rest are, are wrong about light. They're all wrong about it. it because they don't understand dipole electron flow theory, which is this. Light is a piece of a photon. They know that. They smash them all to bits and they get all these flashes of light and they woo, but they have no idea where they came from because they're just bits and pieces of, of debris. We started right down here with this one black and one white. Well, actually two blacks and two whites in the photon, but then it split and we got Cheryankov radiation, which they're going to be talking about right now. So get your kids, get anybody who wants to be a physicist or a chemist or any involvement in any science whatsoever. If you don't understand what matter is made of, and they don't, they have no idea, don't know what gravity is all about, they don't know what dark matter is about. Every day is, oh, we just figured this out, figured this out, figured it out. No, they didn't. It's every day it's some new little gimmick so they can get some funding. That's what's going on. This is... Ten years ago or more, I had this and I showed this to all the labs, even the ones that are going to be talking about University of Geneva over at CERN, Fermi Lab, all of them. I showed it to every one of them. And all it was it was about funding because this was not expensive enough, basically. And it's, that's my feeling. I could be wrong, but I don't think so. <laughs> all right. All I can say is, wow, I went back to look at this video I did eight years ago. <laughs> Light as dark, light is dark energy, really, and gravity is discussed. And it's, I, uh, I got kind of, I, I, I went after academia in this one. This is eight years ago. I, I've been fighting academia for 50, well, since I was a kid, but for 15 years, I had all kinds of evidence, and they destroyed me when I, it was after this one that everything shut down on me. And I think it's because of my original statements I was going to tear science down. <laughs> Speaking of tearing things down, see, I told you my chimney was destroyed. Well, they're going to be working on it. They're going all over the place. They got all kinds of things going on. They're tearing my chimney down, putting a new one in today. You know, and the truth is, for the last 15 years, or at least 15 years, I've been so consumed with trying to make this stuff understood that I let everything go. But anyway, this is eight years ago, and I have like a ton of stuff up on academia.edu that explain all these things. I think I might have already shown you that. So anyway, this is, this is just about my physics of the uh, atomic dipoles. And this is dark matter because it's part of the dipole. And the Bohr model replaced by electron flood theory, which is all dipoles, and then a discussion about it. And um, there's no such thing as neutrons, basically. Uh, anyway, and light slows down, light speeds up. There is no such thing as a, a vacuum in space. Space is saturated with particles, number one. Number two, it's saturated with fields because anything that has mass has a field surrounding it. And that's Einstein's gravity well. All it is is, is, is attraction to the dark matter. It's as simple as that. It's a gravity is gravity. It's, it's hard to believe that... The, it's just nothing. It's, it's, it, this gravity well thing is absolutely nothing. It means absolutely zero. All it is is this, that the dark matter attracts the white matter. That's the gravity well. That's your gravity well right there is the dark matter. Now, when you split this into all kinds of pieces, you get little bar, tiny little bar magnets and you get photons. And I've shown those too. So if you want to download this white paper, 
It talks about these are the only two particles that exist, the white electron neutrino and the dark muon neutrino, and these create the Cherenkov radiation that they're going to be talking about. And we did, we could create it all day long. And here it is right here. These are the gluons, but this is the part right here. The black particle attaches to the electron. We always thought the electron was just a negative, really powerful little bugger, but no. It's attached to the dark matter. And then when you take two of these back to back, exactly like, I mean identical to bar magnets. No difference whatsoever. And a bar magnet, if you push it through against other bar magnets, it will oppose it or it will attract it one way or the other. But they will, in, in the case of a photon, it will always oppose every other field that it encounters because the fields surround the particles. They're not just nowhere. They're surrounded. So this field has to bump into it. It makes everything glow. I have all this, all this absolutely 100% factual documented from 10 years ago. Okay, this is eight years ago, and at this point, they just shut me down. And I can sort of understand why now. Because <laughs> I was a little too vocal. Okay, uh, like I say, I was a little too vocal looking back at this, because I broke onto the scene with the mud fossils, and it was so terribly rejected that I was, I got very, very bitter. I have to be totally honest, I was, beca I became pretty bitter. And, um, and I said, I'm going to tear this whole system down because it's a mess. It's just, so here's what I had to say. Here it goes. And I was trying to be generous at this point, <laughs> but I don't think it came across that well. Here it goes. All right, in order for you to understand the theory of mud fossils and that everything is literally alive, I have to tear down science and, and Einstein and uh, Hawking and all these guys. We can, and they're all wrong. They're totally 100% wrong. Einstein was wrong. Hawking is wrong. Not a word is correct. And I'm going to show you the evidence that I have. And, you know, I don't mean to put anybody down, but it's just a fact. All right, normally it's mud fossils. But today we're going to go and we'll take a little different tack. And we're going to go to the theory of literally everything. Now, let's start with light. You got the sun, and we know it's shooting something out, and it's hitting the earth, creating electricity on solar panels and heat and light and all that business. So, it's it's obviously got energy because it creates energy when it hits here. It's light and heat and solar panel. It's obviously energy. It's it's obviously some form of, of a particle because it pushes solar sails and all that business out into space. So we know it's leaving the sun. We know it's hitting the earth, and we know we can't see it in the middle. We know it's energy in a particle here. We know it's energy in a particle here. So it has to be energy in a particle here. It is dark energy and dark matter. That's the, what they've been looking for, and it is right in here. Now, what is it that's coming to us that is this dark energy and this dark matter? Well, it's an electron. And how does that happen? Well, the energy of the sun is heat energy, and it, it is a vibrational energy. All right, now, just so that I clear up where that energy is emanating from, why would it just go Out at the corona, way out here, it's millions of degrees. On the sun, it's only 10,000. Well, the, the atmosphere that surrounds it has to push through every other particle in space. And when it does, it scrubs and it creates so much energy out here, it's millions of degrees, which shoots off electrons and particles like just everywhere. And if you're going through denser space, which space is not homogeneous. Space is filled with particles everywhere. And light are particles. And you have to pass through them. You have to pass through these fields and these particles. So this is what scrubs. And we do the same thing. Our surface is around 100 degrees. And way out here at the edge of our atmosphere, it's 3,000 degrees. Why is it so hot out here? It's because our atmosphere is scrubbing through all these particles in space as well. So, the particles coming to us are hitting our particles, which are out here, that have, have scrubbed all of their bits apart, so their ions, their electrons, 
So we got electrons hitting electrons and making a hell of a scrub. Same thing with these here. And in between, from here to here, it's just dark matter. It didn't hit anything. It's, it's light that's moving through something. But light is dark matter until it encounters resistance. All right, let's go back to this. So we know the sun is emitting all these particles. We know we're getting hit by them. There's just no question about it. Solar panels, there's particles hitting it. There's energy hitting it. So let's say, let's just say there's energy hitting it. All right, we're going to have to go into a little bit of like E equals mc squared. What it doesn't have, c squared is just nonsense. C is not a consistent speed of light. It's just not right. So energy is mass. I agree with that. Energy is mass. But mass is only mass when something hits something else, then it's mass. When it's just doing nothing, it's just floating around, there's no mass. It's mass, to me, is, is impact. Now, I, I suppose you would have to say mass is also just something sitting around, it's not doing anything. But here it is, it weighs, let's say, an ounce. Just sitting here. Now, wh why does it weigh an ounce? Well, it weighs an ounce because of the gravity of our Earth pulling it towards the Earth. That's what makes it weigh an ounce. If this was in space, it would weigh nothing. It would have no weight whatsoever because it has to push against something or be sucked to something to have weight. All right, do you understand? You either have to push at this, and then this will have weight. They'll say, hey, I weigh an ounce. You're pushing. You're going to have to push more than an ounce. And it says, all right, I'll push two ounces. This is it. It goes. That's what mass and that's what weight is to me. In, the, in, in space, if there's nothing interacts with it, it just doesn't have any weight. All right? Only gravity can, can add weight to things. All right? And only gravity is made by dark matter. And dark matter is so attractive to the white matter that the white matter will go right through anything to get to that dark matter. All right? The white matter is so attracted to the dark matter that it will burn right through your body to get down into that dark matter. And where is the dark matter that it wants to get to? These, uh, these electricity, lightning, static. It's ground. ground. Our Earth is primarily made of dark matter. We're standing on dark matter. Only dark matter has, has volume. I mean, has, um, has uh, an outer edge to it. It has, it has, it's a fixed particle. It's, it doesn't change size. It's a solid particle. We can stand on dark matter. We're standing on it right now. You just don't realize it because every molecule there is bounces all the light back at you just like this. You never get to the inside. The only way you get to the inside is smash it to bits like they do and it's everywhere, or you look at what it's made of, these, these protons are made of, are these little bits of particles. And that's what we started with was light. So we had no issues looking through debris.